Hi there everybody, I'm Sweetheart the Clown and this is Mr. Pinky. Will Mr. Pinky say hello everybody? Hello and an oldie. Yeah, Mr. Pinky, can you tell everybody all about science today? Of course. You know a lot about science? I know all about science. Really? What do you know about science? It is still S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Science! <laughs> Mr. Pinky, that's not all about science. Well, that's all about science for me. Alright, well everybody, this is Mr. Pinky, this is me, and I'm a ventriloquist. Mr. Pinky is a puppet. No, I'm not. Okay, he's a ventriloquist dummy. I'm not a dummy, you then dummy. Mm. Okay, okay, let's not call each other names over here. Well, he's a puppet. I'm real. You're the puppet. No, no, no. Okay, Mr. Pinky, let's not talk for now, okay? We'll talk later on, okay? Okay. Alright, anyhow, I'm a ventriloquist and Mr. Pinky is Mr. Pinky. But what's really special is a ventriloquist is somebody who appears to be talking but actually is projecting her voice or his voice into the puppet. Really? Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes, Mr. Pinky, that's true. You mean I have no voice? No, you have no real voice. What? Well, what just happened was that I used my vocal cords. Ah! You vocal cords! Yes, my vocal cords. I used my vocal cords and I vibrated the air all around us, which is why you can hear me. I can hear you too. Yes, I know you can hear me. You're next to me. So does it mean that if you close your mouth, I can't hear you? So the only way a ventriloquist can speak is if air can escape out of his or her mouth. So that is the secret behind ventriloquism. Well, till the next episode, we'll see you again. How about showing me something else? Something else? What do you want to see? How do you make sound with balloons? How do I make sounds with balloons? Since we're on the topic of sound. Okay, since we're on the topic of sound, Mr. Pinky, because you've been such a good boy, I will show you how to make different pitches using only one string. Wow, can you do tinkle tinkle little star? Okay, I'll try, alright? Okay. Alright, Mr. Pinky, say bye-bye everybody first. Bye-bye everybody first. No, no, just say goodbye. Just say goodbye. No, 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 only goodbye. Only goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, everybody, that was Mr. Pinky, and right now, we are going to show you how you can make different pitches with only one string. And what am I going to use? I'm going to use a balloon. This is a great illustration of how you can make a one string instrument sound good. Alright, first, a balloon is made of rubber, extremely stretchable. I'm going to keep turning and turning and turning and turning and turning until I get a nice long balloon string that I can attach on the other end right over there. So what I'm going to do right now, or what I have just done, is to create a string which has variable tension. And as you know, high tension equals high pitch. Low tension equals low pitch. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Alright, I have a little mini balloon guitar right now. You can hear that the sound is very high. If I lower the tension, make it very, very loose, the sound, the pitch, is low. So I'll try to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star like what I promised Mr. Pinky just now. Yeah! But of course you've got to tune your guitar properly. Well, that's all we have this week. We'll see you again next time. Goodbye!